Syria is now in a state of civil war. Right? We've seen these kind of intercommunal civil wars before. We saw it, as he pointed out, in Bosnia. We've seen it in Iraq, in Lebanon, in Congo, in Afghanistan. We have a lot of history. We also have some actually quite good scholarly work on this. One of the big problems with intercommunal civil wars like this is they spill over. And we're already starting to see the manifestations of spillover from the Syrian civil war. And at their worst, and some of you have heard me talk about this from this podium, uh, when back in 2005, 2006, Dan Byman and I went back and looked at the history of spillover from civil wars and used that to try to start to think through, all right, what do we do about spillover from the Iraqi civil war? And of course, our answer was, wow, we really don't want to get into that question because it's a very <coughs> tough question to answer. But we're already starting to see it from Syria. Refugee flows, radicalization of neighboring populations, economic dislocation. I think we can start to expect to see terrorism coming out of Syria as well. Um, almost inevitably, they start to provoke greater and greater neighborly interventions. Again, we're starting, just starting to see that. Um, we've seen an impact from the Syrian civil war in Lebanon with Turkey, as both Mike and Andrew were talking about it, um, to a certain extent, although much milder than I think any of us would have predicted with Israel. But I think we could expect to see more on all of those countries, and I think we ought to start to expect to see more in Jordan and with Iraq. And I think that that's a big one out there. Um, this isn't a panel about Iraq. We're going to do a session on Iraq at a later date because that needs its own session. But Iraq, as you've probably noticed, is teetering on the brink of civil war. And believe me, the Iraqis don't need any help. Okay? They are perfectly capable of pulling themselves into civil war without any external assistance. But they are now sitting right next to a country that is in itself in civil war. And at its worst, at its worst civil wars have a very bad habit of causing civil wars in neighboring countries and in metastasizing from civil wars into regional wars. And both of those need to make us very alert to the possibility that civil war in Syria is going to overflow into civil war in Iraq or just combine with civil war in Iraq. It certainly isn't helping the situation in Iraq. It's making it much worse.